Okay, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Uh, I think it's time for me to do another plant species profile since it's been almost, I don't know, nine months or something like that. And I've only done one. So uh, they were going to be talking about the Amazon sword plant, or some people call this one the giant Amazon sword. This is Ashinodorus beleri. I probably pronounced both those names wrong, but that was a scientific name. Now, um, this is considered to be a very good beginner plant. I'm not a plant like expert, but I seem to have some fair success with beginner plants. Now, Shinodorus beleri is fairly popular, and it's easily available, so it's a good starter plant for a couple reasons. One, it doesn't have that high of a light requirement. Uh, it can grow in low light, but it grows best in medium to bright light, because it will grow bigger, of course. And um, another thing, reason why people like keep this plant is that, it's, uh, as you can tell obviously here, if you look at my hand, my hand is 7 inches long, and then you look how wide that plant is. And the plant is further back, so it's actually bigger than it looks. So these things, they can grow to uh, up to 18 inches tall, and sometimes 2 feet wide. Mine's approaching that size. So basically this is one plant that if you are starting up in your uh, aquarium hobby and you want to start with plants, if you have a 20 gallon tank, like a 20 gallon high or something like that, you put this in the center of it and it'll fill out the tank pretty well. Now, um, as uh, I stated, the light requirements aren't very high. The uh, nutrient requirements aren't that high either, but lower nutrient water will produce a smaller plant. Uh, this one's growing in a soil pot. Well, actually, I think this might be, well, it used to be one plant, but it's starting to split into two plants down at the root basin here, as you can tell. It's starting to get more than one crown, but this was one plant up until a few months ago. So this one is growing in soil, in a plant pot, so um, the soil would provide extra nutrients for it, so it would grow slightly faster. Um, it doesn't really have that well developed of a root system, so I assume it's not that big of a nutrient hog just because of that. If it was a nutrient hog, it'd have a rather well developed root system. And uh, on the reproduction of this plant, it reproduces asexually, and what happens is it grows these stalks. You can actually see a stalk right here. On that stalk, um, these little plantlets grow, and the uh, plantlets... This stalk grew in probably a few weeks before I got home, and it's starting to grow little uh, plantlets on it. But uh, I don't actually know how long it takes for the plantlets to develop. Now with the plantlets, yes, let them stay on there until they basically come little mini plants. And you can either break them off, or better off, just let them break off naturally, you can then root them. And I actually have another one, I actually have another Amazon sword in here. And it's behind this uh, melon sword. It's kind of hard to see. But this is a smaller plant that was in with this big plant and it was being shaded by it and it was being light starved. Now this is the one fault of this plant is because it's so big, it can end up being a light consumer and it could probably easily outcompete your uh, stem plants for lights. Now um, if you want to use it kind of in your plant community, what you could do is you could use it as your uh, center plant in your big tank and then put say your low light plants around it, like your anubias and stuff, and that will help keep them uh healthy and uh, protected from uh, algae growth because they're being less light. You can tell here my Nubias are on the darker sections of my tank and they're not underneath the center point like this plant is. So uh, since the pH requirements of this plant are from 6 to about 7.5, you most likely won't have much trouble with it and I bet you the uh, cultivated strains of it can probably uh, tolerate a greater range of pH. That seems to be how it is with uh, cultivated plants. They become more hardy than their raw counterparts. So, uh, thanks for, so, um, another thing to keep in mind, um, this plant, I've noticed that sometimes grows, uh, algae on its, uh, leaves fairly readily. So, you gotta keep some, uh, snails or otoclinius or something like that to help clean it off. Um, it tolerates some leaf predation fairly well, I've read, in that it can simply, if its leaves get, um, eaten up a bit, they'll just, uh, heal their leaves or it'll just grow a new leaf rather quickly. So, uh, Echinodorum, uh, Echinodorus... Beleri, the giant Amazon sword, pretty good beginner plant. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.